Yo, yo, yo. It's another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. Today, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know how much time do we should we actually give the Chicago Bulls to jail now that we know that Lonzo Ball out. I'm going to touch on that. And then I'm also give y'all the latest on Lonzo Ball me and what does it mean for the your Chicago Bulls. Y'all know y'all got to hear that music first, though. Cognac. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down for me and my dog. Seat up. Can't be here this morning, but y'all know how we're going to do it. We're going to keep bringing that fire. We're going to keep chugging it up. Chugger, chugger, chugger. Hear that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is how we're going to do it. I got my son in the background. He listening to how the Shy Boys Podcast, how we rock. You know what I'm saying? But look, man, media day was very good, and it got me very, very excited. But it was something that AK said that I had to touch base on when it comes to your Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to your Chicago Bulls, we know who the core is. You know what I'm saying? We know who the players that was here last year. Majority of them came back. You just added a few pieces here and there, which is a few, literally. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Literally a few pieces here and there, and then you take away Lonzo because of the knee injury. So... What stood out is basically that AK was uh when asked about, you know what I'm saying, what was his expectations and things like that. When it came to the team, he came with the remark said it doesn't change. Uh, because I don't think we saw our group with any kind of consistency. We had 29 different starting lineups last year. We didn't have Lonzo since January. I think we need time to see this group play to play longer to have any kind of conclusion because we like what we saw in the first 20 games. But this group needs more time. So I know y'all might be asking, well, how much time do they need? And that's a great question because that's the question I got for them. How much time do they think is going to be good enough to where this team can jail? You know what I'm saying? To where this team can be at their, you know what I'm saying, at the best of their abilities without one of their, you know what I'm saying, major players in Lonzo Ball because he's going to be down for some time, y'all. He's going to be down for some time. But my timeline, and y'all let me know if it's if it's too harsh or whatever. I say the first 25 games, y'all got to figure that shit out. Period. Ain't nobody going to be sorry. Ain't nobody going to be feeling sorry for us. Ain't nobody coming to save us. Lonzo Ball not walking in anytime soon. It's time to flush that out of our minds and get ready. We got to get ready, bro. That's just, it, it is what it is at this particular moment. I was concerned. I'm still concerned about Lonzo Ball. But Lonzo Ball is a grown man. And he's a grown man on the other side, too, on the other side of the spectrum. Yes, it's sad that we don't have him on the court with us. But it, injuries happen. So it's next man up. So you got, they got 25 games. They tough games. So I feel like those games against the, against the top teams, the tougher teams, would allow them to grow. You know what I'm saying? I reel off the first 25 games, or at least try to give it to you as I'm scrolling through, goddamn. <laughs> so we got Miami, Washington, Cleveland, Boston, Indiana, the Spurs, 76ers, Brooklyn Nets, Charlotte Hornets, Boston again, Toronto, Toronto, the Pelicans, Denver, the Pelicans. Oh, I can't wait till we play Orlando. I got to see Mr. Magic City. Y'all know I got beef with Buddy Air. Yeah? Boston, Milwaukee, OKC, Utah Jazz, Phoenix Suns, Golden State Warriors, Sacramento Kings, Washington, Dallas, Atlanta. I believe, yeah. As y'all can see, the the first few challenges is going against those teams that are already established. You know what I'm saying? We established too, but we got to ask gentlemen swept. So we need to come back out with some, with some, with some uh, aggression, we need to let these. We we had a horrible time beating top teams last year, so we don't need to have a horrible time beating them this year. We at least need to be five hundred, at least the minimum. But let's shoot farther than that. Let's get a few games above that, man. Seriously, because, and that's why I give the team twenty five games, bro. Y'all going against Boston several times. Brooklyn's in there. Miami's in there. Miami, every time we played them last year, they blew us out. 
They blew our ass out every time we played them last year. What? Else, how much more motivation do you need? Then y'all got Cleveland over on the on the sideline, Kiki and Ha Han, because they got Donovan Mitchell. Great pickup, by the way. But God, man, they acting like they about to win a championship. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We can't definitively say that right now. We can't definitively say that about any team right now, because anything happens. And we know the contender, the favorites, ain't no damn Cleveland Cavs. But they are much improved. They are much improved. So the Chicago Bulls need to come ready to play against the, every, the come out the gate going crazy. C Dub, I believe he got him at 15 and 10. You know what I'm saying? At 15 and 10 in the first 25 games. I say that if, if they get out to a start like that, we in good hands. I was saying these guys was going to be pretty average. And that was just me. Coming out the gate, I think they was going to struggle a little bit. That's why I say in the 25 games, because I had them like, it was like 13 and 12 or something like that. And then the first 25 games, I believe that's the, with the with the strength of that schedule, it was going to be able to challenge these guys. Challenge these guys to be better. Challenge the coaching staff to be better. So, hey, y'all let me know how y'all feeling about all that I just said right there, man. For real. And then before we go ahead and get up out of here, I want to talk about the latest on Lonzo, man. Well, today Lonzo is scheduled to have his surgery. Another one, the third one on the same exact knee. So he went up to that. He did a he uh got on the Zoom and got with some reporters and he did an interview. And some of the key takeaways from the interview that stood out to me is that my man said he can't run or jump. Y'all listen to that. He can't run or jump. It hurts when he walk up the stairs, bro. He say he's in pain every single day. Now, I told C-Dub, my co-host, bubblehead ass, that's the hard-head uncle, y'all. Y'all already know. The hard-head uncle. I told him. It's time to raise concern. He wanted to listen to LeVar Ball. <laughs> he wanted to listen to LeVar Ball. Come on, man. Time about his son going to be okay. This is the same man that said he, the Lakers will never win a championship ever again, and then they won a championship. Don't listen to this, man. Come on, y'all. But all jokes aside, man, C-Dub, he more reserved, so I'll give him that. Me, I'm more of a like, oh, hold on. You feel me? My anxiety get to going a little bit. So when all that stuff was going on, I already knew that it was some more stuff deeper for Lonzo Ball. But again, so I believe I dropped the video Monday and I asked why, what took so long for the Chicago Bulls to, uh, or Alonzo and his camp to say, hey, let's have surgery. Bro, you've been out since January. Tried to come back in March, couldn't come back in March. You went the whole entire playoffs, offseason, all that until the first few weeks of training camp, bro. His response was basically they was trying. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to avoid it. And rightfully so, bro. Don't nobody want to go under the knife. Knock on wood. I never had a knee injury. You know what I'm saying? Knock on wood on that. But I don't know how it feels to go through that rehabilitation. And only he does. And only several players know how it feels to go through that rehabilitation period. And I can't blame him for not wanting to continuously go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? From the outside looking in, it looks hard. Imagine going through it. It's harder for them. Um... But yeah, he said he pretty much said he wanted to take as much time needed to get back to 100%. And then another thing that stood out to me, and I'm gonna just be honest, yeah, it's real. Concern level is going up again. Even it's getting, it just doesn't sound good, y'all. The man said the doctors don't know what's going on with his knee because the MRI, the MRI isn't showing much. What does that tell me? What does that tell me? He got some serious, he got a serious injury going on, man. But nonetheless, y'all go ahead and say y'all prayers and thoughts to Lonzo Ball. And then, hey, and then y'all just let me know how y'all felt about everything. You know what I'm saying? That I said today. How much time are y'all giving the Chicago Bulls to make the, they're going to make mistakes all season. But how much time are you going to give this team to jail? You know what I'm saying? Because AK said they need more time. 
Do you do you think they need more time? Because we know who the core is. You know what I'm saying? But other teams got cores too. So we just got to put it all on wax. Y'all already know. But then, I mean, are y'all still are y'all feeling a little bit more? Did y'all go down a little bit more on the lines of news? Or y'all just kind of knew it's already what it is, what it is after the fact. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead, hit that comment box. Let me know what y'all thinking on this beautiful morning. And then if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And all our continue supporters, thank y'all very, 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 very much. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great day. Cognac. Gang.